Even though they'll be without big name Jason Hill, the receiving core is still going to be the strength of this year's team. Jason Hill is one of the best guys to ever play here, so yeah, we're going to miss him. But Randy Gibson and Michael Bumpus and Charles Dillon's really coming on. People got to grow up and, and, and new roles have to be taken, so you know, I think, I think we, all, we all will pick up the slack for Jason. And many are pointing to Gibson to be the next big thing. Uh, everyone's saying I'm supposed to send out a replacement, and you can't replace Jason. That's impossible. I'm just going to try and pick, pick up, pick up, and, uh, and and help the team. Honestly, that's all I really want to do. He's already helped the young guys make big strides this fall. Guys like Keith Rosenberg, Daniel Blackledge, and Joshua Anderson. As we go on here, and guys learn, I'm finding that there's some real pressure coming on the on the older backup kids from those youngsters. Jeshua Anderson, he's going to fool some people. He's got huge big hands, he catches the ball fairly well, set a national record for the 300 meter hurdles for high school. I can coach a guy like that. From top to bottom, there's no doubt it's the deepest group on the team. And they say that doesn't add any pressure. You know, ever since I've been here, the receivers have been doing pretty well. So, um, you know, if we just continue to work the way we have been, we should be fine. As long as the Cougars stick to their game plan and get the ball to this talented group of guys, they'll be in good hands. In Pullman, I'm Allison Leap, KXOY4 Sports.